What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the page. Uh, 205 bow ties. I was gonna do a, uh, a little review on the five best upgrades I've done on my K5. Um, nothing's really in order or anything like that. Just, um, just things I found that have uh, helped me uh, get a better driving on this thing, especially on the interstate. Um, all right, we'll uh, we'll go ahead and get started. All right. So the first thing I would say, uh, right after I bought this thing, I drove to work and uh, it was winter time, obviously it gets dark quick. And on the way home, I couldn't see a dang thing. It was dark, it was misty raining a little bit. <clears throat> so I went and uh, did a little research, Facebook, and uh, found that LMC carries a bulb that you can interchange the bulbs in or a housing that you can interchange the bulbs in. So I did, I bought those with the uh, the heavy duty wiring harness and I did an LED swap in it. I'll show you here. So LED swap, headlights. Um, you can see so much better. I've got them adjusted just about perfect. I don't have anybody bright lighting me or doing anything like that. Um, also did the sides, tail lights are also the sequential LEDs from LMC, but that's not part of the list. These are part of the list. Um, I see so much better, just about like my other Silverados. Um, I guess the best thing, the next best thing is probably my uh, off-road design springs and uh, Bilstein long travel. Um, so these are the custom easy ride off-road design springs here Let's see American made um, Man, it makes this thing ride so much better uh, just interstate cruise and uh, just anything really it's just it rides so much better when I bought the truck, it had the uh, Rough Country four inch on it, and these are these are like five and a half, which those Rough Countries, you know, measure real big, anyways. But uh, just perfect, uh, all around perfect. Uh, in the rear, I've got the shackle flip with the factory springs. Shackle flip in the rear. Yeah, let me shut these bites off. <clears throat> So that would be number two. Definitely, definitely a go-to. Definitely worth, uh, definitely worth the money. Then it was like, I don't know, it was expensive. <laughs> um, either way. Now, but uh, so I guess I'll go with uh, gears probably for my next one. I did, uh, I did um, Yukon 456 for these 35-inch uh, tires. Um, I also changed the carrier also went with uh, Detroit True Track. Oh man, they are eating True Track, sorry, eating. And uh, oh man, what a world of difference. On the interstate, pulling first gear up hills, anything. I pull my ATV with my utility trailer with no problems. So. And I did the covers recently. That's just a, uh, just one of those crazy Amazon purchases. Didn't really need them, but they look good. All right. So I guess we'll go with, uh, we'll go to a little steering this time. So right when I, well, right after the headlights, I did the um, red head gearbox. I guess you can kind of see it up in there. So. Um, also did the XJ shaft. Uh, if, if I could go back, I would probably do crossover. I didn't really know enough at the time, but this, this is great. Don't get me wrong. This is, this is a great system, but I would definitely go crossover. Um, if I could go back and I might in the future still do the crossover, but that box was like 400 bucks and I don't want to eat 400 bucks, but uh, it does good, does great. Um, still, 
I, I would say still just a tad bit of wandering on the interstate, maybe just a, like a little pinch of a turn, but still no problems compared to what it was. It was almost half turns before. Um, everything else underneath is all new. Um, all the ball joints, tight rod ends, everything's all new prior, prior to me buying it. All right, I guess, uh, the last thing I think was probably my best thing I would say is uh, my Tom Woods drive shaft and my slip yoke eliminator. Kind of hard getting up under here, but so there's my Tom Woods with the slip yoke, obviously slip yoke drive shaft. Let me go around the other side so you can see it better. Let's see. Oh yeah, we can see it better now. All right, so there she is, uh, Tom Woods drive shaft, and then my slip yoke eliminator. So I just pulled the um, transfer case apart, and I, re I rebuilt the transfer case when it was out. Uh, just seals mainly, um, but man, what a difference! Interstate driving, 70, 75 miles an hour now, no problems for this lift kit. Ride smooth. Me and my wife took it out on date night. Saturday night. No issues. Just interstate traveling. I mean, you can do 80, 90 if you wanted to. A little scary, but you could. Um, there you go. Now, these are, I guess, the best options for a lifted K5. Um, I guess you really wouldn't have to do the drive shaft work if it wasn't lifted. But since mine is kind of have to do it because it messes with all those pinion angles but there she is any questions comments just hit me up um, y'all definitely like subscribe and uh, follow along I've got a couple other crazy projects going on I got a, uh, got a LS in the garage I'm building for another square body but, all right Catch me on the next one. Thank you, guys.